Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this channel. In previous lessons, we just learned how to use Microsoft 365 to help us to generate uh, stock data. And then we learned how to use a type font to help us to pull the data at a fixed time interval. And in short, we went, went through this path. We used type font to help us to control the source workbook, we refresh the workbook, we update the workbook, and also we save the workbook. And then at the same time, we extract the data from this workbook and then put them into another CSV file. However, data in this CSV file are in raw format. Because the data are in raw format, so if we want to plot them into an open high low close chart it would not be straightforward therefore we can either prepare the data into a an open high low close format within the excel or we can prepare them into the python and in my example i will prepare them in python so what i need to do is just to extends the functionalities of the Python programs. So there will be two outputs from this Python. One is the raw data. And the other is an open, high, low, closed format data. And as a result, there will be two CSV file. And once we have these two CSV file, we can then connect them with the with another Excel file for visualizations. And in our cases, these are the dashboards, one of the example for the dashboards. And in this lesson, we will extend the functionality of the Python files that we built in previous lessons. And it will help us to generate the raw data and also it will help us to generate an other raw data but in open high low close format so let's go ahead and get started in previous lessons we learned how to use an excel files to help us to generate the currency pairs data uh, but i changed it a little bit for this time i just changed them into the fans stock data that includes the facebook amazon apple netflix and also google but still i will just retrieve the three attributes that we used to which we retrieve that includes the price the price changes and also the percentage changes with the use of the existing python program it allows us to generates the data in the raw data format. So in this case, it will just help me to capture the data that it generates in the original in the original Excel file or the original uh, 365 files. And then it will capture the info, the attributes from that um, particular Excel files. And say, for example, for this one, um, that would be the Facebook that includes the price, the price changes, and also percentage changes. And then that is the Amazon, the changes, and then the, um, the percentage changes, and so and so. So these are all the data that we can capture in a raw data format. And here you can see that in every single minute, it can capture around 20 to 30 uh, data points. So in that case, I can prepare them in an open, high, low, close format. So that later on, we can use them to plot the candlestick chart. There are only a few changes that we need in order for us to do so. And first of all, I just changed the directory 
and you can still keep the directory too, so it's uh, it's all up to you but I just change this because later on I will add some strategies in this um, in this Python file or the in the um, dashboard output and of course the names of that um, uh, Microsoft 365 um, data source files has been changed so I just changed the name that is the first changes and we also need to import uh, numpy libraries so that is the second changes and the first changes is that I would like to save the data in the current file or current directory and then at the same time so I would like to create a open high low close data with the use of a function called the convert data what I would like to do is to get the data from this file and then at the same time we need to know which columns that we would like to extract from the file say for example the first columns is the times and the dates or times and then the second column is the price and the third columns is the price changes and then the, for the fourth, fourth columns is the percentage changes in that case these are the columns that I concerned because I would like to use these four columns to help us to help us to uh, to help me to generate the open high low close data or prepare the data so in that case I will also have another parameters that allow me to identify the useful columns that I would like to extract from the data file and then for the first four column that is for baseball and for the next four columns that is for Amazon and similarly we will do it for Apple Netflix and also Google And then we can concatenate all of them into a single data frame. And the axis is equals to one. That means we will keep the number of the columns and then uh, we will use in the joint. So what we need to do is just copy the first data frame but then for the second data frame because we are we do not need the first column that is the times columns because that will only be used for to help us to we sample the data into uh, the open hello close um, but after that we do not need the times columns so we just uh, remove that columns and then uh, we need to add the apple we need to two more that is the letters and then finally Google and finally we can save all the data to a CSV file 
and let's call it more data over the high low close stock csv and then for these times we will just use the right mode to get rid of all the previous data and header and index are all equals to false and that is for the third changes and now we need to create a convert data functions so what i wanted to do is to pass it a file name and also for the useful columns so the first one is a file name and then the second argument is useful column and then i will just with this csv with the use of the file name there's no header the useful columns is equals to the input or the parameters the second parameters that is for the useful columns and then i would like to assign names for the columns that includes the times price changes and that's the percentage changes and then so i want to assign the index columns to be the times and pass the date as the times so that's set these times columns as a, a daytime object the first things that i need to do is to convert the daytime object sorry convert the string into a voting format and the columns that i'm concerned uh, is the price so i will just create and other functions that is the that column so the first thing that i would like to do is to check if the columns is a string if that is not a string then that means i do not need to convert it uh, but if that is a string then we need we, we can convert it into a flow type and that is the columns so sometimes there's a comma in some of the cases so in that case i uh, would just remove that comma and, and what we need to do is to oops sorry for this one i will just assign it back to the same columns for this one i will just assign the types let's vote and in previous videos when i do the web scrapping i will assign an empty list so in that case i also need to convert that emptiness into a numpy uh, nan so i will just keep this just in case later on if we cannot get any data from the Microsoft 365, we can then pass it an empty list again. And in that case, we can just convert that empty list into a NumPy NAN. And then with that, we can fill the NAN with a forward fills in place equals to truth um, that means we will use previous data to 
fill in the current data or fill in the NAN cell. At this point, or for these functions, we so far we haven't used it, the change or the percentage changes. Just in case if you would like to display it in your dashboard, um, you might want to just also convert them into a floating number. But in our example, I didn't go through that. And then now we are ready to create the open high low close data. Now we just capture the price columns and then we use the we sample functions. Here I just set it as one minute and then open high low close. Just in case if you would like to set them into different time interval, please feel free to change that. And then I for this data, I will just get the times columns equal to the index. Because after we resembled the data, the index will store the times interval. So I just assign it back to the data times column. And then of course, I also would like to put them in a in an appropriate format. So in that case, I will just use two date time functions to convert these times columns into a defined format. And that is year, month, date, hour, minutes, and second. And finally, I would just like to do a bit reordering. And so for the first columns, that is times. And then for the second columns, that is opens high, low, close. And once we did that, I will just reset the index. Drops equals to true and in place equals to true. And finally, it will return uh, data in an open, high, low, close format. And pass it back to these process data functions, that is the main functions. And then it will just pass it on to five different data frame. And these five data different data frames will then concat with uh, concatenate together. So if I run the program, and now you can see that the data are in open, high, low, close format for every minutes. And once we have this open, high, low, close raw data, we can just connect it to the dashboard or connect it to an other Excel for visualizations. In this video, we just extend the functionalities of the Python files, which allow us to convert the original raw data file into an open, high, low, close format. And in the next lessons, we will do the same thing we will extend the functionalities of this Python file, which help us, which use Selenium to help us to do the web scrapping. We will not only just save a raw data file, at the same time, we will also convert this raw data file into an open, high, low, close format for further visualizations. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.